speaking in an interview on News Nation. Let's play a little bit of that clip here, and hopefully we can hear this. You guys can fill up. Retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft, if you will. Uh, it's probably not the right parlance, but uh, no kidding. Not when you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles. You know, call it spacecraft, if you will. Uh, it's probably not the right parlance, but. Uh, no kidding, non-human, exotic origin, vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. When you say crash retrieval, what do you So, of course, the instant thing to say is, is this a PSYOP, right? Is this a PSYOP? Is this a psychological operation here to distract us, right? Um... And this is this is the big this is the great question, right? How are we being are we being played in this situation? And it's worth having this discussion. Are we being played? Why now? All praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Ha Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostle elders, which rule great millstone well, and Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom, Wa Ababa All right. Which this is a psyop, okay? Redacted is a paid uh, show on YouTube that pushes psyops, okay? What you just seen that they are reporting that they're claiming, the U.S. government is claiming to have, as it says, we have alien craft in our possession. Government UFO whistleblower admits bombshell. All right, and listen to what he says here in the beginning, that you would have to be a fool to think that we don't have a so-called UFO. But at the end of the show, which I just showed you, he's saying, is this a PSYOP? Because they're paid agents. The hosts of Redacted are paid to deceive. We've got some big breaking news on this story on UFOs. And my good friend, Leslie Kane, along with Ralph Blumenthal, have broken an amazing story over the debrief. Now, Leslie has been an amazing journalist. My friendship with her goes back years. And she is really an impeccable, an impeccable journalist. So here at the debrief is an unbelievable story about UFO retrievals and an but she used that word unbelievable because he's actually telling you it's a lie. Intelligence official whistleblower has come forward and admitted that the U.S. has, in fact, crash non-human UFO vehicles and they're reverse engineering them. Um, this is an unbelievable story. Of course, I think we already all knew this was the case. But to hear it on the record from an intelligence source who has the highest possible level of u.s government clearance highest possible so let's go through this piece from leslie kane a former intelligence official turned whistleblower and i should give and, and ralph blumenthal also wrote this piece let me give credit but i know leslie uh she's amazing anyway a former intelligence official turned whistleblower has given congress and the intelligence community inspector general extensive classified information about deeply covert programs that he says possess retrieved intact and partially intact craft of non-human origin. So is there a bigger story at all right now? Can you think of one? The information, he says, has been illegally withheld from Congress, and he filed a complaint alleging that he suffered illegal retaliation for his confidential disclosures, reported here for the first time. Other intelligence officials, both active and retired, with knowledge of these programs through their work in various agencies, have independently provided similar corroborating information, both on and off the record. Here's the whistleblower. This is David Charles Grush, 36, decorated former combat officer in Afghanistan, veteran of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, the National Reconnaissance Office. He served in the Reconnaissance Office as representative of the United Air, uh, Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, from 2019 to 2021. From late 2021 to July 2022, he was the NGA's co-lead for the UAP analysis and its representative to the task force. There's Grush. Again, the highest level of government clearance possible. 
The task force was established to investigate what were once called an unidentified flying objects or UFOs, are now officially called unidentified anomalous phenomenon. They changed the name, which is part of a, you know, you can call it a PSYOP if you like. Um, the task force was led by the Department of Navy under the Office of Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security. It has been reorganized and expanded into the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office to include investigations of objects operating underwater. Grush said that the recoveries of partial, partial fragments through and up to intact vehicles have been made for decades, he says, through the present day by the government, its allies, and defense contractors. Analysis has determined that the objects retrieved are of exotic origin, non-human intelligence, whether extraterrestrial or unknown origin, he says, non-human, and they're not from Earth. Based on the vehicle morphologies and material science testing and the possession of unique atomic arrangements and radiological signatures, he said. In filing his complaint, Grush is represented by a lawyer who served as the original intelligence community inspector general, the ICIG. Come on now. Represented by a lawyer who served as the original intelligence community inspector general, the ICIG. And he says, Grush says, we're not talking about prosaic origins or identities. The material includes intact and partially intact vehicles. And in accordance with protocols, Grush provided the Defense of Ob Office of Pre-Publication and Security Review at the Department of Defense with the information he intended to disclose to the debrief. His on-the-record statements were all cleared for open publication on April 4th and 6th, 2023, in the documents that were provided. Grush's disclosures and those of non-public witnesses under new protective provisions of the latest defense appropriations bill signaling a growing determination by some of the government to unravel this colossal enigma with national security implications that has bedeviled the military and tantalizing the public going back to World War II and beyond. So, a lot of questions on this. He is uh, speaking in an interview on News Nation. Let's play a little bit of that clip here and hopefully we can hear this. You guys can fill up retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles you know call it spacecraft if you will uh, it's probably not the right parlance but uh no kidding non when you say crash retrieval what do you mean uh these are retrieving non-human origin uh technical vehicles you know call it spacecraft if you will uh it's probably not the right parlance but uh no kidding non-human exotic origin Vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? So, of course, the instant thing to say is, is this a PSYOP, right? Is this a PSYOP? Is this a psychological operation here to distract us, right? Um, and this is, this is the big, this is the great question, right? How are we being, are we being played in this situation? And it's worth having this discussion. Are we being played? Why now are we hearing about this? Now, he filed this complaint and I've reached out to Leslie Kane. I'd love to have her on because I want to go through that question. Like, is this, is this a psychological operation? I mean, what do you guys think about this? I mean, why are we hearing about this now? And he files a complaint and the Department of Defense signs off on allowing him to come forward with these documents. Yeah. Like when you work in that, you have that government clearance, you sign your life away. Like if you work formerly worked at the sure. CIA, I mean, look at the, the guy who's written, um, who's written the, what's the name of those books that I love? And I can't remember his name right now. Um, and there's a whole movie where Chris Pratt plays him on, uh, anyone can help me out here. I've read like four of his books and I can't think of them. He was a former CIA and a lot of the book is redacted because he mentions certain like CIA places that he can't mention in the book. So even in the book, it's, it says redacted, like the name of the CIA safe house is redacted. Anybody know what this name, the name of the book is? All right. So they're telling on themselves. All right. And if you can't read between the lines, that's your problem. But what they're doing is lying to the people. All right. So. I like to study certain things, and one of the things is uh, body language and knowing if someone's lying or telling the truth, all right? It says, glancing to the left suggests that you are remembering facts or having visual thoughts. Looking down to the le to their left, someone talking to themselves, all right? All right, this is the 
tutorials point body language eye movement okay it says looking to the left which that soldier was when he was giving the interview he kept looking to the left and he would not look to the right which shows that this is all planned okay looking to the left looking to the left and down while talking signifies that the speaker is either recollecting facts looking at left and straight means the speaker is having a self conversation before reengaging in debate or conversation all right it says looking to the right looking to the right and down while speaking signifies self doubt which he didn't do because i guarantee you that he practiced this right the the government had him practice this enough times to where he could get it right just like they would do a movie star or an actor or actress or a, a singer you know they 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 repeat the same song so many times they do the same dances so many times that it's a second nature whereas looking right and straight up signifies lying which they could train that they don't do that looking to the right activates imagination and left activates memory and that's what he's working off is the memory of what he's been told to say okay philip retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles you know call it spacecraft if you will uh, it's probably not the right parlance but uh no kidding non when you say crash retrieval what do you mean uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft, if you will. Uh, it's probably not the right parlance, but uh, no kidding, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? So he was working on this, and he was put in charge of this program where they were reverse engineering these craft. Yes, of course we have craft from other worlds. Of course we do. You'd be an idiot to think we don't. Literally an idiot. And So as you just heard him, the um, one of the hosts of this show, which uh, I can't remember his name, but... Uh, as you heard him, he said, of course we got these vehicles. But before that, he was saying, is this a PSYOP? Okay, because they, they work through confusion. All right, which is witchcraft. All right. And like you just heard him, he said, you'd be crazy not to believe it. Reverse engineering these craft. Yes, of course we have craft from other worlds. Of course we do. You'd be an idiot to think. And notice he looked to the right and down. And if he was to look to the right and down... It says, looking to the right and down while speaking signifies self-doubt, whereas looking right and straight up signifies lying. Looking to the right activates imagination and left activates memory. All right, so he's doubting what he says because he don't even believe it, but he's paid to say what he's saying. That he was put in charge of this program where they were reverse engineering these craft. Yes, of course we have craft from other worlds. Of course we do. You'd be an idiot to think we don't. Literally an idiot. And so what are we using them for? The military, Boeing, Raytheon? Of course we've been, they've been trying to reverse engineer this stuff for decades. Yeah. But why and that, if you ever watch his show, usually his, his other co-host, which is his wife, would have a lot to say, but she has nothing to say in this area. All right, which is abnormal. I'm going to show you another video on this channel of another whistleblower. It's it's a little difficult to hear, but the next step, because they need to keep building up the fear of these UAPs, the next step is really for the UAPs to start um, shooting down our commercial airliners and our military jets. Uh, so as you could hear, this uh, retired FBI Agent John de Souza, he says that the man made uh, vehicles that they're saying that are crashed, or the, he says they're solid objects, they're, they're going to be used as terroristic weapons against the people. Okay, the government, 
the government is going to use them against the citizens to bring them into subjection so that they could deceive them into taking the implantable micro CHIP, which also their plan involves depopulation. Out of skies. Uh, and that, I believe. And I'll tell you the next step. It's it's a little difficult to hear, but the next step, because they need to keep building up the fear of these UAPs. Next step is really for the UAPs to start um, shooting down our commercial airliners and our military jets uh, from the skies. Uh, and that, I believe, is going to be happening very, very soon. And this is why you have the soldiers now coming out, you know, with, with uh, so-called high ranks, right? Which would not actually be able to speak, all right? But they're able to say that they have down aircrafts from outer space and that they have many of them, okay? Why do they have these vehicles, which they so-called reverse engineered, which they don't have actual chariots from heaven, which this man, John D. Sosa, actually tells you. There are many sides to you. There's the one that loves to escape into new worlds. You know, the, when you see things all happening on CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times all on the same day, that to, to just... Which I want to remind you, if you watch this one, this channel, uh, this this uh, interview, he's, he's in doubt. The uh, host of Redacted, he's in doubt. But then on the other one, he acts like he's so confident, but he shows signs of self-doubt. All right, because they're 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 controlled. Also, you got to remember the media has been bought by the elite and are controlled what they could say and what they can't say. That's why they're going to persecute the saints because we're using the freedom of speech to actually push the truth, and eventually they're going to take away that right, to, you know, that they have given to the people. And it's to persecute the saints, right? To stop the truth from coming out because the devil, the so-called white man, devil means deceiver. He works through deception. To be open and aware of how you're being played. What would you say to our audience? Sort of final thoughts here. You've been, you've been in the belly of the beast for many, many years. What do you, uh, what do you say to somebody who's a newcomer to this? All that we're trying to do at this point is save as many lives as we can. That's it. That's it. And if you can understand, um, if you can understand these realities that uh, alien visitors and true UFOs are not physical, that... Did you hear that? True UFOs are not physical. You cannot shoot them with a gun or a missile, a bomb, all right? They are not physical. They cannot crash. I'm going to take that back so you can hear it. Just look another time. Put out is for people's self-defense, for their self-defense of their minds, because that's the self-defense that's going to save their lives and the lives of others. That Times all on the same day, that to, to just to be open and aware of how you're being played. What would you say to our audience? Sort of final thoughts here. You've been you've been in the belly of the beast for many many years. What do you uh, what do you say? Somebody who's a newcomer to this. All that we're trying to do at this point is save as many lives as we can. That's it. That's it. And if you can understand, um, if you can understand these realities that uh, alien visitors and true UFOs are not physical, that uh, the government is lying to you as soon as they say certain things, if they use, as soon as they use buzzwords like UAP or, um, or um, you know, these, uh, these, uh, Faxes, these uh, needles are for your good. Uh, they're they're to make you a better person, uh, and uh, or we're gonna you know we're gonna lock you down for your own good. Uh, you have to be able to articulate why you know these are lies, these are deceptions, and how we are going to save our own lives and save the lives of others by recognizing these deceptions, recognizing that these things are not true. That's why everything I put out is for people's self-defense, 
for their self-defense of their minds, because that's the self-defense that's going to save their lives and the lives of others. That's what I want people to understand and people to know, basically. That's the most important thing, save people's lives. Hallelujah to that. Amen to that. Uh, my guest has been John D'Souza. It's been fascinating to hear your story. Laid. What would you say to our audience? Sort of final thoughts here. You've been you've been in the belly of the beast for many many years. What do you uh, what do you say to somebody who's a newcomer to this? All that we're trying to do at this point is save as many lives as we can. That's it. That's it. And if you can understand, um, if you can understand these realities that uh, alien visitors and true UFOs are not physical, that uh, the government is lying to you as soon as they say certain things. If they use, as soon as they use buzzwords like UAP or, um, or um, you know, these, uh, these uh, vaxes, these uh, needles are for your good. Uh, All right, which the Bible speaks of these vehicles being invincible. In 2 Ezra 13, all right, verse 3, and I beheld, and lo, that man, that man being Yahweh Shai, the true Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the so-called black man, as it is written. That man waxed strong with thousands of heaven, which these are the angels of heaven, which come on the so-called UFO. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And... Whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men, which these are the armies of the world. They're going to be gathered in the valley of Jehoshaphat, out of number, from the four winds of the heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. The sea is talking about the heavens. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. And I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So the so-called UFO that the Lord is writing is bigger than a mountain range. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet their fight, so they were afraid at what they saw. Why would they be afraid if the government already has these vehicles, if they already have so-called aliens, right? Because they don't, they're lying to you. Never trust thine enemy, for his wickedness is like rust, iron, uh, like iron rusteth. It says in verse nine, and lo, as he, <clears throat> and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire and the flaming breath and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up, every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke and when i saw this i was afraid so they felt they shot you know missiles and they they, they came at yahweh shai with violence right but as as it said in verse 9 and lo as he saw the violence of the multitude that came which they have weapons created to try to fight yahweh and the angels yahweh yahweh shai and the angels it says he neither lifted up his hand, which he wasn't afraid, he didn't block, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war, right? Because the vehicles, those vehicles are an instrument of war. Because it shows you in the movie Independence Day, when America tries to hurt the chariot, you know, it didn't do nothing to them. They had a, a, a force field protecting them. That, that power 
is Yahweh, our, our, our power who are in heaven, the supreme power, which the so-called white man is really warring against his maker. He's a fool. Right? The so-called white man is a fool to think that he can make war with Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, the angels, and even the elect. Because you got to remember this devil, he's going to try to make war with the saints coming down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time. He's going to make that implantable microchip mandatory for buying and selling, which will be his condemnation. All right, Because as soon as they make that mandatory for buying and selling... Yahweh Shai is going to come and destroy their kingdom, their heaven on earth, which is America. And he's going to deliver us. He tells you that in Matthew 24, verse 28. It says, for wheresoever this the carcass is, talking about the Israelites, there will be the eagles. There will the eagles be gathered together, the so-called UFOs. And if you look up, I've done it many times. You could do it. Google, all right, where are the most UFO sightings? It's over America, which is Babylon the Great, who are to be destroyed. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. The nuclear missiles the Lord has allow these devils to create they're a great sword and he's going to allow the sword to fall upon Edom's head he's going to use it to destroy America alright it says and the stars shall fall from heaven those are the nuclear missiles and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken which are the elite they're going to be afraid because they've been working this plan thinking that they're going to you know win a, a, in a battle against Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and the angels and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels, which ride upon so-called UFOs, with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. And I'm going to just end it with this, Isaiah 45, verse 9. Woe, meaning destruction, unto him that striveth with his maker, which I'm talking about, you know, the armies of the world, the elite, all right, the so-called white men and the other nations that think that they're going to be able to come together and fight Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and the angels and somehow keep the elect in slavery. It ain't going to happen. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it what maketh thou or thy work how he hath no hands all right so you're talking all this blasphemy against Yahweh his son Yahweh Shai the angels even against the vehicles you know that they ride upon all right uh the elect you, you talk all kinds of shit through your media you put out false uh, truths in the movies, which are lies, all right? So you're going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for every word that you have spoken. It says that every thought, every word, and every action. Not only the Israelite, but also these Edomites and the heathen. In fact, let me get one more. It just came in my head. To the Holy Spirit, all right? The, the vehicles of heaven are spiritual, not physical. Let me see. Obadiah verse 15 for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee thy reward shall return upon thine own head verse 17 but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, because we're on fire for the Lord. So this is irritating Esau. And the house of Joseph, a flame, which were standing upon our feet together. So the great fear fell upon them, which saw them, which is talking about these heathen. They're seeing this, tell the truth. And they're trying to make up all these lies, and they can't keep up. So we're devouring them. And the house of Esau for stubble. 
and they shall kindle in them. That's what we're doing in this truth. We're kindling and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, the so-called white man, for Yahweh has spoken it. Because eventually, after a thousand years, he's going to be made extinct. All praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, HaRakakudash. Double honors to our apostle elders, which rule great millstone well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom, Ababa, Ababa.